Alexis Whitfield says it started as a quiet Sunday night until it sounded like the trash truck came through, but we kind of thought about it for a second. We were like, wait a minute, that's not right. It's midnight. Instead, she was shocked by what was happening on just the other side of her balcony. It had taken a car from further down the street and it was just carrying it along. She called 911, but not even the responding police car was safe. Oh, he just hit the, oh, he, um, he just hit the police car. Austin police arrested Trevante Neville for driving while intoxicated. He told officers at the scene he had been doing shots of whiskey that night. It kind of really looked like he had never driven a large vehicle ever, um, the way he was trying to control it, so there had to have been something. The most recent data available from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration shows in 2020 nearly 7% of all large truck accidents involved alcohol. Texas leads the country in DWI fatalities and big truck fatalities. I am so scared to drive just normally with normal cars and having something that big that could just take me out in a second. Horrific. Under current state law, a commercial driver's license holder will have their license suspended for a year after a first DWI offense. A CDL will be suspended indefinitely for subsequent offenses. But on the heels of last month's deadly crash involving a concrete pump truck and a school bus where the driver admitted to using cocaine and marijuana, Alexis says not enough is being done. It was just dead silence from everyone regarding that, even like the local legislators. She says Texas needs stronger regulations. It needs to be a priority in the legislature, in politics, in our local politics, and it just doesn't seem like it ever is. Reporting in Austin, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.